Welcome back to another video. It's a little after Christmas, but we're going to discuss Elvis's outdoor Christmas decorations. Let's jump in. Christmas was Elvis's favorite holiday, so for their first Christmas in their new home, Elvis made a big flashy purchase for their front yard. On December 12, 1957, Elvis spent $300 on lawn art. He bought this larger-than-life Santa in sleigh with all the reindeer and a huge sign that reads Merry Christmas to all with Elvis's signature on the end. Graceland.com says they still display this sign, and they do, but it's not all original. I'm sure these easily get weathered over time. Here is a side-by-side -side of the original Elvis signature and then the one that is on display today. It is still Elvis's signature, but it is definitely a different version. In 1965, he began switching it up and instead went with a nativity scene and aluminum trees and gave the Santa and reindeer a rest. They contracted a Memphis artist named Hardy Phipps to create a nativity scene to display on Graceland's front lawn. The artist handmade the scene out of fiberglass and hand painted each piece. This was of course featured on the family's Christmas card that year. This is super hard to read, but it is a check made out to Hardy Phipps for $1,140 for a life-size nativity scene signed by Vernon Presley. Just to clarify, that would equal over $9,400 today. This payment was yearly to rent these decorations. Elvis did not own them. He later upgraded to a larger scene, and the artist and his family held on to this one until the early 2000s. A lot of this information comes from the family's 2007 eBay listing for this very nativity. In it, they say, the angel that hung above the Holy Family was removed from the scene shortly after its debut because Elvis thought the figurine to be too shapely and inappropriate for a religious representation. At some point, Elvis switched to this larger scene, and this is the one that we see on display today, also created by the same artist. This is a picture that I took. The two camels and possibly one or two other figures actually came from that original nativity. Eventually, Hardy Phipps closed his business, and when he did, Graceland purchased these displays from him to keep the tradition going each year. The first Christmas after Graceland opened as a museum in 1982, it was in the paper. Here's Vester in front of the nativity, though the picture's caption says it's Vernon. The article talks about how it's the first year they brought out the Christmas decorations, like the blue lights along the driveway, because Vernon thought it was too sad. They were Elvis's favorite, according to this article, so they didn't set them up per Vernon's request during his remaining years. The museum director at the time is quoted as saying, this is the first year it's been decorated in a traditional sense since Elvis died. In honor of their first Christmas open to the public, fans were invited to be part of the festivities by mailing in ornaments for two blue spruces that were set up inside the house, one in the dining room and one in the racquetball building. And that is it! To get a closer look at the pictures I used in this video, follow me on Facebook or Instagram. The links are in the description box below, I will be sharing them on there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it wherever there are Elvis fans. As always, thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe for more adventures.